So I'm Rosie Povel, I am the main trimmer on uh, Mano and I think the Royal London is uh, Youth Academy is a great place to start and the way we got involved was we just all decided that we really wanted to get involved in inshore keel bike racing. Um, so we got together a group of friends and decided it was going to be all female and um, just went for it. So I think the best advice would be to anyone that's keen, just get together your friends and um, go for it. Yeah, we kind of found it through the BKA. They came yeah. and talked about it at our opening weekend and it just sounded really exciting getting a training programme together, something new to learn, putting your own crew together, that's really quite good fun. Yeah. Um, so my name's Ellie Cumpsty. I am the helm for Mano and my biggest advice for maximising the programme is just like trying to get out on the boat as much as you can. So for us, we were all a new crew and we'd never sailed etchels before and there was just so much we needed to learn, so time on the water was crucial. And just asking advice at every opportunity, making sure you learn and listen and taking things on board. Uh, and also for me, I've learned a lot through crew management this year and we've had a lot of different members in our crew. We've probably had about 10 different people sailing the boat this year and sometimes I'm not even there if uh, I'm off sailing other things so uh, just managing that and making sure it's always controlled and um, everyone's happy and working well together as a group. So I'm Freya Anderson, uh, I do bow on Mano with these two and um, I think obviously without the sponsors it would really just couldn't happen um, so a lot of thanks does need to be given to David Franks um, and especially Lion Tree. So to show our gratitude this year, we did the Lion Tree Media um, corporate event, um, which was like great fun to, to meet the people that actually really like are the sole reason that this this does exist. Um, and yeah, just without without them, we wouldn't have a chance to even get started into Etchells. There's absolutely no way if there was no Youth Academy, I don't think I'd have ever got ever got this opportunity. Um, and now I kind of can't imagine like my sailing career without it. It's really helped shape shape me as a sailor and helped me learn so much. Yeah, so along with Lion Tree, the Royal London has supported us as well. So they offer us discounted stay um, with a nice full English for breakfast. And they also offer us just a nice base so that whenever we're in cows, we know we're always welcome here because we're, we're members for the year since we're part of the academy. And yeah, it's just nice to always always know we're welcome um hi my name's owen bowman i've been racing on pulse this week um and yeah i normally helm the boat and it's really good to be part of the class because i get to sail with really good people and i get to sail against amazing people so yeah awesome to be part of the etchels like the reason i came to be in part of the etchels class is i had a friend who is part of the academy a few years ago and i got to dabble into the class for a couple of events and then got to join in realised the class had a huge depth of competition and it meant that you were battling every inch around a race course and it was great to then actually be having my own team that I can really build a campaign with my own boat and that's awesome like you don't really get many opportunities to have a cheap way to really race at the top end of a fleet um well at a top end fleet <laughs> let's be honest like my last couple of years I had a great opportunity to be part of um, foiling catamarans with the Extreme Sailing Series with um, the NACRA 17s and um, part of a, loads and loads of foiling classes. It actually kind of slow down the racing, really brings up the intensity in a lot of ways and then to be against people who have been legends of the sport for like decades, to actually learn from their experience is a huge, huge opportunity and the Etchells is one of the few classes in the UK which really brings that all down to like accessible club racing. Yeah, the um, Royal London's been a great, great asset to the um, to the Etchells Academy and it's been great to have such an influential club to really support um, the youths coming through it um, and to have, have access to the facilities that they give us um, is a really huge opportunity and I really recommend anyone else who wants to come and try it. Uh, hi, my name is Harry Bowman and I'm currently racing on Sumo this week. I'm on bow and um, I'm having a fantastic time with the Europeans even though our results might not reflect that right now. <laughs> I had quite an unusual pathway into it. I had pretty much quit 29 of sailing um, at the age of 18, taken pretty much a gap four years bouncing around the globe um, and then came it back into the UK. I wanted to get back into sailing. I joined the BKA, um, joined the Actuals program as part of that. 
um, went through the actual program and then won the trials at the end of it and ended up with being awarded a boat for the year um, with three other people and I had a fantastic time with that and that was back in 2017 and I've continued that momentum since then. I find the racing incredibly close. You're racing with rock stars from all different generations who have incredible backgrounds in all sorts of different boats and you're on the line with people with more gold medals than you can shake a stick at and I love that. I, I find that fantastic to have that depth and breadth from the fleet. I also find the people very welcoming. They're happy to share their knowledge and experience, happy to share their settings, etc, etc. I really enjoy the friendliness and also the talent within the fleet and I'm quite frankly humbled and impressed by it and it's a fantastic opportunity to be part of a fleet like this. Without the Royal London and David Franks, it wouldn't be possible for me to be part of the actual uh, fleet. They do huge, huge amounts for me. They provide me with a boat, they'll launch it whenever we need it. Um, if we need support with various, we need coaching, we need ribs, we need logistical help, we need maintenance, they'll support us on that and they do huge, huge amounts. If we need someone to stay, they'll often put us off and it's, it's really hard to express how much they support us and without them it just quite frankly wouldn't be possible for me to sell an actual. I cannot express my gratitude more um, for what they do for us. I really enjoy it. I think there's a lot of camaraderie amongst us, there's a lot of competition, but I, I really enjoy having a group of people, a group of friends to race against uh, and compete against every weekend and I think that's a great thing. So the Royal London Edgewell's Youth Academy has a fantastic sense of camaraderie. I think there's from generation to generation people are bounced down. I find that the, when we are short of crew those people who have come before us often fill in places and I think that when other teams are short of crew that we bring in uh, people who are our friends and it's a great way of bringing people into the fleet. I enjoy the kind of friendship, bonds and camaraderie created by the um, programme and I think the Royal London and David Franks do a huge amount to promote that, both with accommodation and their personal support. So the Etchells Class Association run a open training programme throughout the winter. There are plenty of weekends and lots of opportunities for people who have never been in Etchells to be involved, learn the boat. If you never I, I sailed with Ted Blurs when he first step, stepped in the boat, even though his dad was a double world champion in the boat, he had never played a symmetric spinnaker. He stepped in the boat and BKA and turned from kind of never sailing uh, a symmetric boat to being very good at it. And you have the winter of that opportunity, followed by a youth trials program, which myself and Ted Blurs won in our first year. And from that, depending on whether you look after the boat and you can perform well, there's a good chance that you'll be able to win a boat, for a fully funded boat for the season. And I think that that's a fantastic opportunity. I'd recommend anybody doing it. Whether you've just come from lasers or whether you've sailed X boats or other boats like that, it's a great way of stepping into class and it's a really, really good opportunity. Typically the trials run somewhere around um, spring for the Royal London Edgewell's Youth Academy and I'd recommend anybody who's thinking about it to try and get to it if they can. So to win a boat for the Edgewell's Youth Academy you should get used to the class, understand settings and whichever way you can. You can take part in the winter, seri winter training series if you want to, then take part in the trials. In the trials they'll look at two parts, they'll look at your performance, so how you score in the trials and also how you look after the boat. So if you show up at the dock and the boat's not got its fenders or you've tied it up badly, you're not going to get a boat no matter how well you sail. Um, and there are kind of two criteria, performance and care and respect to the boat. My name's David Bedford, I'm sailing with Sean Froelich and Duncan Trosswell. We're Team Exabyte and I sit in the middle and, and I'm tactician and uh, mainsail trimmer and kite trimmer downwind sometimes. So um, the Etchell Youth Academy has evolved over a number of years. We as a class were kind of stagnant and dying maybe seven or eight years ago. We were given a boat by Ted Fort and we sat around on the way home from a regatta in Holland and thought what do we do with this boat and we, we granted it to some youth sailors to come and sail in the class. 
having done that for one year, we sat and thought, who are we going to grant it to the next year? And then we, we thought, well, rather than grant it, why don't we let sailors compete? And then we thought if sailors are going to compete, perhaps we should maybe show them the boat and we um, used the ROA to advertise. Some sailors applied, uh, we ran some coaching, we ran a competition. Uh, we were impressed with the people that turned up. And um, we were so impressed after the end of the weekend that, that we had so many nice sailors. And through the good offices of David Franks, not only did we supply one boat, he was able, he was able to make two available. Um, and then over the years, more sailors sailed in the class. Uh, we were able to gain more goodwill, more loaner boats, find more money. The sailors sail with owners, the owners liked it. And the whole thing has, has really evolved and grown with the sailors coming back, the owners being able to to um, have a pool of sailors to sail with them. And then we, we even had situations where at the beginning of a year, an owner will say, I will buy a boat. I want you to find me some sailors to run my program. So the whole thing is is, is growing all the time. And we're just trying to to kind of work with the whole thing and to to go with it as the thing works. Um, so in the Youth Academy, um, we find that lots of sailors have come from different backgrounds. Some of them come from, from uh, two man dinghy, some of them come from OPI programs, some from laser programs. Uh, they can't all go to the Olympics, and it's an opportunity to jump into a, a boat with a with a team situation happening. And some of them um, will have to organise the sailing of the boat. As you get a bigger boat, you can have a finer a finer class of uh, of, of mess as you go around a corner. Things have to be coordinated. Things have to be communicated. And so it's a blend of the whole team a well-balanced team with flair, with good communication, with good, good organisation, the ability to go around corners, the ability to not make mistakes. And uh, there's a whole learning process where they can find that maturity and get together as teams where, where the teams really really gel and really work out as a, as a good unit. The actual will, um, it's a difficult boat to sail. It gets out of hand when it's windy. Uh, so so as, as a boat, it's, it's, it's got a lot of challenges. We have a very unusual coaching program where we, not as coaches, we don't just coach, we jump in and race against them. So that's kind of an unusual thing where you get you get a coaching core who are hands on. Yeah, you know, if it, if they can't if it if it's not happening, we'll jump on board and we'll have a go and we'll we'll you know, show them how to do it. And also we'll then jump in with our own programs with our owners and we'll race against the sailors. And in that way, it's it's good for us to earn their respect, um, which is kind of a the sort of thing that coaches don't do very often. Also, we have some great benchmarks in the class. If you look at just the European Championships we're doing this week, Laurie Smith's won lots of world championships, lots of Europeans, lots of round the world races. Ante Razmilovic won lots of Europeans. There's lots of quality. There's lots of people who've been around the block a lot of times. And if the young sailors can come here and sail and they can hold their own, then that's, yeah, that in itself is a pretty, uh, you know, a. a fairly high benchmark to uh, to measure yourself against and I think that's attractive they suddenly have got something where they say hey you know I'm as good as these guys and they've done a lot of stuff I mean we, we are privileged we're lucky that we've got this little bit of magic where we've got these with the, these boats which are kind of they're a little bit old-fashioned and they're a little bit difficult to sail and it's not you know like modern Formula One cars they're a bit too easy to drive they've got all sorts of traction control and stuff we've got these boats they're a little bit hard to do um, and and they've got to jump in they've got they've got to they've got to master the, the difficult sailing. Um, in Cowswick we had situations where the boats got a bit, bit difficult and suddenly they're, they're out of control we're, and we're doing our best to stay under control. And uh, also we've got this, just, this, this great standard of sailors where suddenly they want to be here and they want to race against people who are older. And also, you know, believe me, the guys that have got grey hair, that, that, that's quite a, uh, you know, there's a two-way street here. We actually want the young kids to want to sail against us. So um, we've kind of got a little bit of selfish interest where we want to we want to think that we're wanted as well and that we can actually hold our own, and that gets more difficult as uh, you know. Every year we look at another Christmas, another birthday, and think, blimey, you know, how many of these have we got left?